If somebody asks you, what will an oil do? You can say, well, that's uh, oregano, and it's got phenylpropanoids in it, and it's got this, and it cleanses your receptor sites, and, and it does various things. And you can give them a chemical answer, and that would be a good answer. But the truth is that oil has hundreds of compounds in it. And so if somebody asks you, what will that oil do? You can give them a quantum physics answer and say, what do you want it to do? because it's just a packet of possibilities. It's really fascinating that we have the molecular science and the understanding today how essential oils do work on a molecular level. That takes away this kind of voodoo feeling and snake oil feeling because now I can really stand there and say, look, I understand what this oil is doing in the brain. I understand what this oil is doing with the cancer cell. Molecular shapes and sizes of the molecules of essential oils are so compatible with our human body and that they fit the receptor sites on the cells so perfectly. So to me that means that these oils who fit us so well and were created before we were created, that God was thinking ahead and thinking of our well-being before he ever created us. Two of the best known uh, essential oils are frankincense and myrrh. And the reason for that is because we read about them in the Bible. And so the old story goes that uh, the, the three wise men brought baby Jesus some you know, precious kind of metals and some essential oils. So the question is, why would someone bring not more gold or diamonds or precious stones that they had at the time? Why did they think that frankincense and myrrh was so precious that the most important baby uh, ever born should get frankincense and myrrh? All of the gifts they brought Jesus, the frankincense, gold and myrrh, were all very valuable. In fact, the most valuable of those three was the frankincense, more valuable pound for pound than gold. I hear people that are really very, very aggressively defending the statement you should never eat or consume an essential oil because it's dangerous to your life. Guess what? Those people go the same day, they go to the grocery store, they buy food, they buy beverages, they eat it, they drink it, and they're still alive. Why? Because all these foods, all these beverages, all the flavors are essential oils. So the FDA has an entire article that talks about the oils that they have approved, essential oils, for flavoring of food and beverages. Unfortunately, these are typically not natural, pure essential oils. They're synthetics because the food and beverage companies are trying to save money. But if you think that you never ever consume an essential oil, you need to rethink your life because you're eating and drinking them every single day.